Hey, Corey here. Uh, coming in to do a channel message for Friday, the 17th of June, 2022. This message is not replaced any medical psychological advice, and I am channeling through the energy. I'm allowing it to bring forth the messages that are here to be heard, to be seen, to be um, validated through the essence of spirit. I don't know where I just got that. I don't know where that information just came from, but it came. So um, I'm going to trust that. You can also go check out my radio show on News for the Soul Radio, which was actually just that I just stepped out of. So I just uh, went in and it was live for an hour. And so it is available on News for the Soul. You can watch the replay, listen, watch them listen you can listen to the replay of that one and many others that are in the archives that i have over there and many other amazing people as well so today's message is um is one that truly is coming from that place of um of just knowing that there is something more that is happening right now there is something more that's happening in the energy there's something more that's breaking through and if you've noticed if you're in places where we've been getting like a lot of storms and there's a lot of rain um, I keep seeing this and I keep seeing, and I seen this on what day would this have been? So on Monday night, um, yeah, so that would have been what, the night of the full moon or the night before, right? So I seen coming in over like the trees, like I'm like these, this white energies. And I said, there is a new set of councils, how they told me there is a new troop of divine angelic energy that is entering in to be of service for this next stage like i just feel like they're leveling up so it feels like in the human realm of that that's trying to play god it's like in ego is leveling up that dark energy that that shadows that that's of trying to overshadow everything is trying to up the ante trying to push things a little bit further and so with that divine intervention just ups, ups its ante a little bit so that divine that divine intervention is coming in we're going to see some major divine intervention happening within like over these next few months i feel like it's huge oh how um this is all this all unfolds but this is what they're telling me this is how i'm this is how they're giving me the messages so there, this is a, you know, this is not always about what's happening within us, but we also bring this within us. Um, but we also bring stuff that connects to within us as well in our own personal lives. But what's, what's happening within the world does affect our personal lives as much as you want to avoid it, ignore it, much as we want to turn off. But I also believe that we can be the change that we need to see ahead of time. And that's why these messages come so that we can start to be the change that we need to be so that those things don't we're not feeding that energy. We're not feeding the fear. Um, and I get there's this, and this has come to me three times this week, three times in my dreams, there is this quake energy that I'm getting like, but it's, it's under the water. And I just keep seeing like it's underwater, underwater, underwater. So whether this is like a fault, like a fault line or something that's, that's breaking, but I keep seeing like, uh, an earthquake, but it feels like underwater. And I just see these rolls of water, like waves of water coming up. And I keep seeing this, and this is the third time this week. And so they're telling me that to mention this. So you may, with the shift that's happening in the planets right now, as there is a lot happening with Mars, there's a lot happening and I'm not an astrologer. So, but there's a lot that's happening with the planets right now, the way that they're giving me the message of it. That is just saying that you may be like your own little earthquake within you. And you may have emotions that are rising up. You may have, because what's happening in the universe happens within us, right? And so you may be having this uprising of information you may also have this new stuff that's you may find out something that you didn't know before it could be something about yourself you may be something find out something about you know your job or something new that you've not had to face before that you have not seen before and now you're seeing it now it's there now it's present and and you're like you can't turn a blind eye you can't you can't ignore what you're seeing and so you may feel yourself in that sense of like just quietly biding time or waiting for the time to say what you need to say or trying to process your words i would say it's like you got to become the person you need to be to do the things that you need to do and sometimes it's like you know no matter how much people try to push you to do what you need to do that you that they think you should do you need to do this now if you don't do this now 
but it's it's just something of just knowing it's trusting the feeling inside that says it's not the right time if i say it now i'm going to say it from a place that is not authentic it's not real or i may even chicken out half the ways halfway through but sometimes you got to have like that that quake has to happen the crack has to happen we have to become aware and you may have to like let out your emotions first so that your emotions don't speak for you so that the emotions don't but your higher self speaks with such a conviction and such a truth and you know exactly what it is that you want to say then you say it with such a knowing that you're not going to back down from it that it this is what it is and not saying that we don't open up to perspectives but sometimes we just know these things that we have to make choices and decisions around and sometimes they're not easy right and and so that's also coming up for us so we're feeling and sensing and knowing it um but i do keep seeing this storm um, there is still, there is a lot of water falling from the heavens. There is a lot of water falling from the heavens. I'm like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of weather patterns and there is still a lot of weather and patterns. I mean, through, the, for those who are struggling through the, you know, the floods right now and through Yellowstone, I'm like, it just feels like there's so much. And I said, isn't this so ironic? Like roads and pathways being washed away. But it's the same thing. They're changing our direction. Roads are, you know, there's there's roads we've been traveling, areas in our lives where things are just like shutting down, closing down. You're not going this way. You can't go that way. This is what this is no longer available. This is not because it's just con. It's like we're going to create a new. And it's like, well, I'm trapped now. I can't nowhere else to go. There's no other road. There's no other place. No, we're going to create something. So there is, or we have to rebuild it so that it's safer. So that it is. It's it's a better way for you. So it doesn't mean that everything that's on the other side, you're not going to be able to get to. It sometimes means we have to, we have to prepare even the other person on the other side to be the person that they're meant to be, to be in your life or the destination, or there's just a whole nother way to go. And there's a whole nother path. There's a whole nother journey. There's a whole nother way to walk. And that's very much coming up. So being very conscious, being very conscious about, you know, how we behave when we're in, when we're, ha when we have to handle things that just seem like, um, why is this happening when, but it's out of control, right? It's like, it's in the hands of mother nature, or it's in the hands of anything that's out of your control, what is out of your control, how you handle it, how you respond, how you react through it will truly be a reflection of the areas that is shine, shining a light and a scope upon, you know, I have to be kinder with myself or how I communicate out. I can't let these, these old energies, these old patterns and these old pathways that I travel to my own emotions, you know, speak for me because they're not speaking the truth and they're not speaking the truth that I want to put, that I want to put out there. So that's a huge part of the energy. And to know that, you know, this coming I'm like by early next, by mid next week, I'm like, sometimes maybe it's safer to stay inside. <laughs> maybe it's safer to avoid people because it's like, there is some, there is some energetic turmoil that is stirring within mother earth, which takes us into that resonance, you know, the, that resonance chart of the earth's energy. And we, and we feel the earth's energy. And I feel like the, you know, somewhere in that next week, and mid and next mid to next week, I'm like, yeah, maybe I should not speak to anybody because you can hear yourself talking. And when you hear yourself talking, you hear yourself like, blah, 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 blah. You hear yourself go on with all of this, you know, chatter. It's like space junk, right? It's stuff that has taken up space within you. You like, don't even take your own self personally. When you hear yourself like complaining about yourself, like just don't take yourself personally. And it's like, you can't take a lot of the world personal either. Um, and so everything that's happening out there is not happening to you. And you have to remember that what is happening in the world and what is happening even in some of the politics is not happening directly to you, it, but it does have an impact or effect on you. So people's words and when they're communicating or what they're saying, and it's not personal to you, but you take it personally, that's because you're looking for something to feed the monster within, to be very aware of not feeding that internal monster energy that's within so that you have your own eruption so that you're not erupting. Um, I keep seeing this pile, um, like a pileup of cars as well. 
a pile up of traffic. So I just feel like something that's like piling up the traffic. And I don't know where, I mean, that could be anywhere. We have highways, but this is something that really stands out to me. So whether it is like a bridge that, that opens and don't close, you know, something like an opening bridge that opens and doesn't close or a collapse in a bridge or something that happens where it closes off connection. Like I just keep seeing, and I just keep seeing traffic piled up, but it's, I do see a crash and a collide. So, I mean, that's where it's also about don't crash. Don't be, you know, colliding with your old self. Don't be colliding with your old actions, your own behaviors. Don't be getting yourself stuck there. There is a lot of other things that are taking place. And I'm trying to ask what it is they would like for me to really truly, what matters? What matters the most to us right now? And we are also in a time of healing. So switching that gear, coming into the heart. These are the prediction things, but let's switch into the heart. Let's go into that place of, allowing the angels and the guides to communicate through something that really truly comes from the comes from the heart and comes from that place that you know we are in a time of that deep healing and and knowing that you know when we can start to allow ourselves to feel from our heart that we feel something different i keep so i get this frequency ringing and green is the color that's coming forth, which is also representing Archangel Raphael. And Archangel Raphael, it feels like it's coming in, in the sense of knowing that it's almost like I'm seeing that mandala, like the turning, like there's a, there is like an unlocking. So it's like, so that unlocking of, you know, safety deposit boxes. So whatever have, that you put away in safety deposit box, saving for a rainy day, I feel like bring it out put it on display, whatever is in dishes, you know, those type of things that you're like, oh, I'm going to say someday I'll use that someday people will be here someday I'll have this grandchild or child or someday this and it's like, and someday but that's the same thing with the good which the beautiful emotions of self, that sense of joy, enthusiasm, excitement, and it's like, let's start opening up and unlocking this treasure chest, let's start unlocking this safe where you've hid everything for a rainy day. And if you're going to keep waiting for a rainy day, you know, that it may be needed. I'm sure there's many times along the way that it was needed, but you rather suffer, suffer and struggle and go through the hard times rather than pulling from the areas because you're waiting for, say, retirement or you're waiting for this to happen, you're waiting for that. But in the meantime, you stop letting yourself live and be able to live free, knowing that you have a solution that could help, but you're not pulling out the solution. You're not gathering that solution. You're not drawing from that solution. You're not investing into that solution. You're actually allowing yourself to suffer and misery and keep trying to struggle to find your way rather than to easing up on yourself in order to, in order to be able to live that life. is like, why not unlock these parts of ourselves or unlock the secret or open up or use what we have that we're saving for a rainy day, that this is the rainy day. This is the time. Why are we, why is there an image of what kind of day we're thinking that may never arrive? Because the power of our moments are here now. And so the deep healing is that we don't live so much for our future. We live more for our nows, knowing that we can still prepare for our future, but we live in the now of our heart, knowing that this Raphael energy, this healing energy is just saying that the power of what you need is not over there or back here. It is right here. It is right in front of you. And you have what you need to do it. You have everything that you need. Why are you not accessing that? Why are you not accessing the tools that you have? Why are you not accessing the ability to, to be that sense of uh, savior in your own life? What is the why to constantly being in some energy of being a victim to her circumstances or knowing that you have that you have solutions, but you will not pull those solutions because it's like, no, I was told this has to stay here and I, this has to be there and, and I have to save this for life and I have to pass this down for generations to come. And I'm like, that's bullshit, right? And so there's one thing to know that you have to care for something over here, but if you're struggling right now, we need to be here right now, right? It's like, we need to be present. We need to be here. And so there is that call of the power of healing so that we don't avoid, or we're not in that sense of kind of um, scrimping, kind of being tied with our own energy or, you know, trying to save for those days and, 
and that, that we actually need, we need us right now. We need us. We need us. And it is us. It is the us that is within us. That is that sense of the savior of what that, that saves us now that actually will be what also saves our tomorrows. And that's so important for us to really truly honor, to step into, to know it, to be present with it, and to trust that within our own lives because we are being called upon to, to live from that place right now is that we are needed right now. What we have for our future, we can, you know, we can feel that kind of future, but it's not here yet. What's here and where the time is, is right here. And it's in the unity, right? We need ourselves. We need to come home to ourselves. We need to be one with ourselves, not to be separated from ourselves. It is the mind, body, soul connection, that temptation to cut the threads, cut the cords, to keep things tucked away, to keep doing over here, to, to not let ourselves feel our own emotions, to not let ourselves pull from the bank of our own gifts, our own abilities, our own tools, and to just continue to say, no, no, I don't need to do that right now. I, won't use, I don't want to do that right now. I don't want to use that right now. I don't want... We, if it's there and it's successful and it's there for us for our high school, so why are we not calling on the guides and the angels to guide us through? Why do we not call in this, this energy that's out there that is for us to access and to use to help us to manifest in our, our help, our healing, our, our guidance, our next journey so that we can, we can use that now? It is not going to run out. It is that constant flow and so that's the one thing that there is no lack of. It's not going to ever be obsolete. It's not going to ever be gone. It's never going to be out of style. It's not going to be not there in your future. It was always in your past. You just never, you just never accessed it. And that is the divine energy. That is that of the God consciousness. It is that that is greater than us. It is that that is more than us, but it is also that that exists within us. And it's time for us to be able to call it to to not be afraid to ask for the guidance, the help to do the healing that we need to do now to become the people that we need to be for that beautiful future that we know is waiting for us because we are not going to be told exactly what kind of future we're going to be having based on rules, laws, and, and people trying to play God. So know that we, you know, we can't even play God in our own lives. Even when we try, we get, we face so many areas where fate shows us differently that no matter how much we try to be something, how much we try to bring that into our lives, we don't know what else we're here to exist in and who else's experience we're here to exist in. So there's so many things at play right now. It is being present. It is being now. It is about being right here and do the things that you need to do for this moment. Have a beautiful weekend and I will see you soon. You still have time to get into my class that I'm teaching on Sundays for the next three Sundays. There was four Sundays, but we just finished the first class. You can get the recording if you sign up. It is the, um, the Confident Goddess. It is in my Soul Revival classes that I teach, my Soul Re Revival, yeah. The Soul Revival of the Everyday Goddess is what we're doing. And so that those goddess of the goddess within classes, and so those classes are master classes, and they happen every Sunday morning for the next three Sundays at 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, and you still have time to sign up. So if you'd like to get in, get in there, and or so, and also subscribe to my website coreythorn.com, so that you can um, so that you can get all the updates and all the knowing of when my second book, which is so it's like right there now, which will be coming out very very shortly. Um, and I look forward to being able to share my stories because it's through stories is how we learn, not being told who and not being told what we have to do, but being guided through the experience of if someone else survived it, I'm sure I can do. I sure I can. So much love. Have a beautiful weekend and I will see you soon. Please remember, subscribe to my site, to my YouTube channel. Bye bye.